Hello and welcome. Welcome to, to today's session. Hope you can hear me. And it's not echoing. All right. All right, so if you could add in the chat box uh, where you're coming from today and anything else you'd like to add. Thank you, Corrine, for adding that you're, we've got Germany. Excellent. And Colombia, very good. Macedonia, wow. So we've got Europe, we've got South America, Pakistan, welcome. Rizwan. And another, oh, two people from Germany. Excellent. And Pam, I loved your video. Thank you for sharing. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, I think people are going to be coming in as we go, which is excellent. It took you ages. All right, it gets better and better. And we're going to talk about that today. Okay, so today's session is about the Moodle part of uh, the Moodle MOOC. Uh, this was the first presentation about the Moodle MOOC. I'm not sure whether you uh, were able to uh, look at it, but you can find it in the course where. And notice I've added at the beginning, you can, by the way, copy this chat at the end, but I add at the beginning three links. I hope you can see them. The first one is a PowerPoint presentation of the session. The second one is the Moodle website. And the third one is the WizIQ website. All right, so a little bit about myself for those of you who are not acquainted with me. You can Google my name and find out more. I'm not very photogenic, I must confess. Uh, okay, so I've got lots of uh, photos out there. I'm not happy with any of them. Um, in any case, I've shared this uh, presentation in the courseware on WizIQ, so you can also view it there. For those who don't know, there are two areas. There's the WizIQ area and there's the Moodle area and all this is in the WizIQ Moodle MOOC course and uh, for those who were not here and would like to know I'm just gonna take you to it okay this is oops this is the uh, WizIQ area okay the WizIQ and I've added the link above and uh, the other section is the Moodle where we're going. So a little bit about myself again. I uh, I have an educator doctoral degree, which means that I'm a practitioner, a doctor of education, which is why the DR comes at the beginning, and it's not a PhD. It's not a theoretical degree. It's a practical degree. I'm a regular teacher. I've been teaching for over 30 years. But other things about me, in addition to teaching, I teach at the Atlantic University online in a master's program for transpersonal. And that's where the transpersonal comes in and leadership studies. It's an MA program if you're interested. I'm also uh, involved. I'm a Reiki practitioner. I practice mindfulness uh, practice, meditation, with, which is waking up and not falling asleep. Uh, I do it with my eyes open, for those of you who think that meditation is about falling asleep. I'm also on the committee of the TESOL. I'm an English teacher, uh, call IS, and uh, program director, coordinator of the World Association of Online Education. I don't think that means much, uh, but I've been teaching uh, since the mid-70s. Uh, I write I present, I organize online conferences. There's the Connecting Online Conference and the Moodle Moot Conference. I also organize MOOCs. 
I've been involved uh, with university consulting for the University, uh, Open University of Israel, Wiki Educator, uh, the Commonwealth of Learning, Atlantic University of Tokago in New Zealand, uh, and other places. Currently, I'm uh, consulting for uh, countries in Africa on Moodle. Okay, most of the work that I do is on blended learning and on Moodle. I've also published, I edit for a lot of journals and uh, some of the publications are the following. I wish I would have more time to write, but I don't. But these are some of the books that I managed to write in uh, the past uh, three years. Okay, and that's it. The rest you can find online. All right, so let's get uh, to the course. That was just a little bit of an introduction. Feel free to use the chat box for questions, comments, and anything else that you wish to have. And I see that Pam says, I still have no presentations, only a video view and the chat box. Okay, so that's uh, in the chat box. You will see, uh, let me copy it for you. You will see three links. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to add it again, Pam. Okay, there's one at the top. <laughs> okay, and the second one, okay, let me add. The second one is the Moodle for teachers. Well, you know that because you added a video there. So you joined the, uh, the course, one of the courses. There's the other link. And the third link is the Moodle course link where you can get all the presentations anyways. Okay, that's where all the presentations are. Uh, let me see if I can get that again. Okay, copy. Let's see if it turns out. Doesn't look like it's coming through. There we are. Okay, that's everything. Okay, so does everybody have that? There was one. Um, I'm not sure if that was a continuation of a discussion. Sure, you can't get it now. Of course you can get it now. You click on it. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about clicking. Okay, clicking. What does it mean to click on a link? Okay, so it means that you want to go in there and see what's there. Yes, but if I do that, then you go. Oh, I go. Oh, I see what you mean. You have to, okay, you have to minimize this window, but you don't have to go anywhere. You can do that later on. I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, Pam, so you stay here with us. You don't have to go anywhere. Okay, you just can't click on any of these right now on the whiteboard because nothing is clickable. All right, so we're going to be discussing uh, weeks one and two. Okay you're going to get Moodle 2.5 teacher training. That's what this part of the MOOC is about. Um, you're going to learn the layout, activities, and you're going to reflect. And the way you're going to do it is through, I think I missed a slide here. Yeah, is through discussions you're going to discuss, you're going to practice as a teacher, and you're going to teach. And Pam has already done it. I don't know if any of the others have in some of my other courses, but the teaching part is really important. Ludmilla spoke about it yesterday. That's where you practice everything that you've discussed, okay, through teaching. Teaching is the only way that you, or your students for that matter, can prove that you've learned anything. Okay, so it's really, really important. So this is the process. You, we will be discussing, okay, various topics related to Moodle 2.5 and the teacher training. You will practice and then you will teach by creating videos. If you look at the Moodle 
teachers.org, which is Moodle for very easy teachers.org. Okay, that's the the domain. You will see this on the front page. Okay, this is Moodle for Teachers. It'll give you general background. If you notice, all this information is also on the syllabus and it's also on the WizIQ site. Now, click. When you go through it on the front page of the Moodle website, okay, Moodle is on a website. The layout, the way the Moodle looks, is not like any other website. It's very typical to a Moodle site. Now, what is a Moodle site? Anybody know? Moodle site. What does it mean, a Moodle site? Okay, some of you may have more experiences with Moodle. Some of you may have taken Moodle MOOC 1 uh, or other courses. You do not know. That's excellent. That's the best place to be, not to know, because then you can learn. Okay, those of us that know will also continue learning. Great. That's wonderful, Elizabeth. I'm glad, okay, that you're a beginner. So a Moodle site, there is, that's true, Perry, very good. It's a learning and course management system. That's right. But a Moodle site means that the mood, very good, excellent, Rizwan. Excellent, that's right. There's a program called Moodle, a program called Moodle. You need to install this program, the way you do other programs. You install it, and where do you install it? You install it on a domain. A domain. A domain, I'm sure you all know what a domain is. It's like a link, but it's part of the link. You install it on a domain, and it looks like a website. It looks like a website, but it's very, very distinct. It doesn't look like other websites. Okay, those who get used to it see that there's a difference. Oh, Pam, you can't see the whiteboard. Is that what you mean? That's right. Very good, where's one? That's right. It's a name of a website. It's the link. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know what? Uh, can you... Uh, Contact support at WizIQ later on because um, you need to have your system set up. I don't know if you're using a Mac or you're using a, a PC, Pam, but there's a problem in your upgrades or updates. It could be Java. It could be uh, other programs that you need to install on your computer. It could be Flash. Okay, so uh, there's something that's not working for you. Okay, so I apologize if you can't see it. Maybe you need, I don't know if you use, uh, if you, are you using, well, I can tell you what Pam is using, but I don't like Explorer. I stopped using it. I only use it for certain programs that force me to use it. But yeah, a browser is either, um, let's see what Pam is using. Could be Explorer, could be. I use uh, Safari because I'm um, using a Mac. Okay, you're using Windows and you're using Microsoft. Yes. Okay, Pam. I suggest, I know it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, I can see that you're using Explorer. I suggest you um, get a Firefox. Um, you need to download it. And that's what we're talking about. Moodle is like a program. Okay, it needs to be installed. Very good, Perry. That's right. Obj that's the short form for the acronym Moodle. Oh, you've got one. Excellent. So just leave this classroom because you can't be in two classes. You'll be kicked out. Leave the class and uh, come in again through your Firefox. Thank you for sharing and letting us know that you're having problems. All right, so what you're going to do as you go through the front page of the Moodle.org, MoodleForTeachers.org, you will click on everything. 
that is this color, okay, this kind of brownish red, you click on it and then you get what's there. Now, the reason I say this, and you need to tell it to your students too, because a lot of people are confused with online learning. They don't know what to do. And they, are, they tell you, you'll hear, I don't know what to do. I'm in there. I don't know what to do. Well, what you have to tell them to do is click. Click. Click on everything that's clickable. So in this case, click on the WizIQ course area. Click on Moodle for Teachers, Moodle website. As you read, click and continue reading. Click and continue reading. Next, you will see on the front page of the MoodleforTeachers.org, you will see explanations and then you'll see support. Under support, you'll have organizer of the MOOC and that, that's me if you want to contact me. And you'll have course feed. Click if you need me or click here or just click just to see. All right. Next, you're going to see a lot of clicks. You've got the workload and explanations about the workload. So here's the brownish red course activities and resources. Click on it to get the information. That's how things are done in an online environment. We add and hyperlink either websites, discussion forms, articles, and then you need to click to get the information. And believe it or not, students do not know that that's what they have to do. You have to tell them. So don't be afraid and don't think, oh, that's obvious. Nothing is obvious. Okay, tell them to click. And I'm also telling you exactly what I'd like you to tell your students. There are two learning environments for this Moodle MOOC. One is the WizIQ course area, where you will find the live classes, such as this live class, and the recordings. The same link goes to the recordings. And if you click on this link, you'll go there. And you've got the Moodle training courses that is here. Okay, so you tell your students to click where you want them to go. Okay, there are three courses. You will choose two. Either you're a beginner, that means like Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you will click on Moodle for Beginners. Okay, October 2013. Now, if you want to go back to the WizIQ course, you will click on here to get back to Moodle MOOC on WizIQ. Yes, it could. It could, Kareen. But there are reasons why it's in two places. The live classes cannot be accessed after the course is over. Moodle courses are finite. What does it mean, finite? It means that you have a starting date and you have a start and end date. Okay, where you start and where you end. WizIQ course area does not have a starting point and an ending point. It goes on forever. Now, why does a Moodle course have a start and end? Because, and you'll see this when you have Moodle of your own, you don't keep courses forever. It takes a lot of bandwidth. And most uh, schools don't do it, okay, for that reason. Plus, you know, it's just like any course. You pay money for it, or you don't pay money for it. Somebody pays money for it. They start the course, they end it, and then they close it up, and then they start new courses. Okay, that's the reason why there are two uh, learning environments. You can leave it, but there's no point in doing it. Okay, because a Moodle course, and that's a very, very good point, 
Karen. A Moodle course is interactive. It's not like a blog or like a website where the information or like an article where the information is there. A Moodle course is interactive. And that's um, one thing that many teachers and administrators do not get, that Moodle is different from other courses. It's very, very interactive. And that's why you need to have two environments, one for the course and one for something open. Hello, Helena, and welcome. Okay, so like you have, for example, how many of you have a Facebook account? How many of you have a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, and other accounts? Uh, why do you have so many accounts? Why do you go to so many places? Because every place has another purpose. So, Kareen, excellent questions, but the reason is that every area has another purpose. Hello, Uncle Sam. So that's why we have different places, because we have different reasons. You know, why do we go to a restaurant and we also go to a supermarket? Because a supermarket has is different from a restaurant, okay? Same thing here. A Moodle website is different from a WizIQ uh, website, okay? So think of it like that, Kareem. I hope that helped. If not, keep asking. All right, so this is a Moodle practice area. That means that you will click here. Your learners do not have to be in different places, Kareem. Your learners will be only in Moodle. Your learners will be in Moodle. They will not be in two places. Why would you put them in two places? Of course not. Okay, Karine, your students are in one place. You are in two or three or four, okay, depending on what you're doing. In a MOOC, you could be in a million places because MOOCs are open. They're not closed. All right, so the Moodle practice area. Okay, the Moodle practice area is where you will practice as a teacher. So click and go in. Don't be afraid to go in. Okay, right here. Next. This is the other course, and you have to choose between beginners and non-beginners. How many of you are beginners? Okay, if you could just uh, write a B for beginner, a B if you're a beginner. Okay, so we've got Elizabeth, Guadalupe, Okay. All right. So, <laughs> Helena, you're a beginner. All right. So, everybody that feels they're a beginner, you go to not this course. You will not click on Moodle for non beginners. That's for those who are not beginners. You will click on Moodle for beginners. Okay. Which is right here. You will click here. Okay. And if you want to practice, everybody will practice here as a teacher. So don't be afraid to click. Nothing will happen. You won't do anything wrong. How many of you are non-beginners? In other words, you've had some practice. If you could put non-B, if you're not a beginner. Yes, that's great, Karine. What is your domain? Where did you install Moodle? I hope not on your computer, <laughs> because that's not going to work. Okay, you need to install Moodle on a domain. Okay, so we've got Vasella. Very good. That's it? B, can you help me? Who is B, by the way? Uh, do we have to pay for that domain? What domain? 
Oh, usually yes, Elizabeth. Don't worry about it. Please, if you're a beginner, take it one step at a time. Do not worry about getting your Moodle. Okay, there's time for that. So stay, stay. Don't jump, you know, don't jump over hoops. Oh, you've got a Moodle. Excellent. Okay, very good, Kareen. So, Kareen, you have to be a non beginner because if you've got your Moodle, you don't need to go into the beginners unless you want to. All right. So, what do you do once you go into the Moodle, into this particular Moodle? And let me add the Moodle. Yeah, I'll be screen sharing in a minute. Um, Uncle Sam, I forget your name. I always forget. Sorry. Um, if you could write your name, it'll help me remember. So Moodle for teachers. This is one of my Moodles. I've got a, quite a few. So that's the Moodle for the uh, Moodle MOOC. So you click on that. You go into login one if you have an account by adding your username. Notice a username. Everything has to be together. No spaces and then password. Number two, if you don't have an account, you create an account. Number three, if you lose your pass password, don't worry, you don't have to remember. Just click on lost password and follow the instructions. Elizabeth, um, yes, why not? You can go at your own pace, by the way. You don't have to wait for anybody. If you're a beginner, you can go at your own pace. Okay, everything is open. Now, comments box. If you notice on the front page of the uh, Moodle for teachers, there's a comment box. It'll not open until you log in. Okay, that's to protect the participants. Once you log in, you'll be able to use the comment box to ask questions. But don't forget if you ask questions or make comments to click on save comment. Okay, so there's the link moodleforteachers.org. Sure, of course you can change, Karine. I'll show you how to unenroll and enroll in the next course. Excellent. Good questions. All right, so here is number one. Number one is what you see. This is the layout of a Moodle course. There's the left, there's the center, and there's the right. That's what it looks like. So on the left, notice you can also minimize things if you like. On the left, you've got sections. That's what I added. You don't have to. You've got sections, and that's important. You can jump. If you click, you can jump from section to section. Right now, there are eight sections. You can click on participants. Notice everything that's reddish brown. If you click on it, it takes you there. So click. Don't be afraid to click. Nothing will happen. You cannot do any harm. So click, learn, and click. Click and learn. All right. So participants, you get a list of participants. This is an online user. Number six is the comment box. I've added a comment box to each page of the course. And then you have the blog menu, number two. Notice the blog menu, add a new entry. You're supposed to keep a blog of your work. So start blogging. You don't want to do it the last minute. It makes it very difficult. Number three, here are the activities for the course. The uh, This is the Moodle for beginners checklist, where you can check as you go discussion forms, glossaries, click on these. These are all, notice reddish brown, click, and you'll go in and see what it is. Only I'm online on the screenshot. What does that mean? Uh, Steda, only I'm online on the screenshot. Oh, oh, is that your name? Oh, you are, yes. <laughs> yes, you are. When I took, yes, see, you're famous <laughs> when I took the screenshot. Yes, that's right. Sorry about that. Yes, you are. All right. Number four, you can see the recent activities. Now, what do we call the left and the right? Anybody know? What do we call what's on the left and what's on the right? Anybody uh, know the term for that on Moodle? 
Yes, very good, Rizwan. It's called a block. Now, a teacher cannot have the rights to move a block an editing teacher, but a manager and administrator can have rights unless you give them rights to decide what blocks to put. There are lots of blocks and you will learn about the blocks. In the center, okay, is information and that's where the students follow. Okay, so notice number five, you learn about the badges from the Connected Educators Month. You can get a badge for this class too, I'm going to um, get the link, I mean the uh, code for you. Um, they're getting the codes for me as fast as they can, but not fast enough. But you'll get a code here, I think it's here. Uh, the code for this class, let me give you the code right now. Okay, I'm going to add the code to the chat. For those of you who watch this, you'll be able to get, or for those who are not here, I'll give you the code so you'll get a badge. What a badge is good for, Helena? Maybe you can add in the chat box. Okay, so here is the code. I'm adding it right now. Okay, that's the code. And in order to uh, get the code, before I forget, uh, let me take you there to, uh, to where you will get the code, I mean the badge. Helena, do you have it? Okay, I'll get it to you later. All right, so there's the code. Copy that code. You can copy the whole chat and take the code so you can get the badge for taking, for being here. Okay, now, what is this? This is the first section. Helena, can you add the link where people can get the code or my YouTube video? That would be great. Hey, Maria. Hi, Maria. You said, oh, and you must join the webinar there. No, you don't have to. You don't have to join the webinar there. You can join it wherever it is, wherever you find it. But the list is on um, WizIQ. Uh, the codes, just um, email me, Guadalupe, and I'll uh, give you the codes. Okay, so Maria or uh, Helena, if you can add the link to my YouTube video on how to um, claim your badge, that would be great. Yes, Maria. So, number one, this is the first section. And notice you click on updates and support. Okay, that will take you and open up. Because right now, notice the glossary and the progress is hidden. So you need to click on updates and support. And look what happens when you click on that. Don't forget, everything that's brownish red is clickable. This opens up. And then you'll see number one, the Moodler Lounge. This is support area. And you'll see about reflecting, instructions about reflecting on the live sessions. Because in order to get a certificate, for this MOOC, you need to reflect on the live sessions. So you click on that to get the explanations, number one. Number two, number two, you see this box? You cannot click on it, but it'll be clicked when you do the assignments. Now, what do you have to do to get it complete or checked? you need to start a new discussion and you need to respond to at least one person and then this will be checked so you have to do all of that next number three is the next section okay the introductions again the introduction is here i want to show you that you can also open jump to Thank you, Helena. There's the link where you can learn how to claim your badge. You need to open this, or you can use the arrows to go to the next one. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, this is the introductions. Once you 
introduce yourself and respond to someone else. I added the code to the chat, um, Maria. You will get a check. If you don't, okay, if you don't introduce yourself and respond to someone else, you will not get a check. And you will not be able to get um, a completion for the course. Okay, and you need to notice these are discussions. You need to answer what is a Moodle and respond to someone else. Thank you, Rizwan. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, now there's an article here that you may find interesting. Click everything that's brownish red, click on it to get further information. Now, this is Ludmilla from yesterday. Ludmilla created this for the uh, previous Moodle MOOC. Um, notice you can access number two by clicking on this arrow and listen to Ludmilla, or you can click here and go to YouTube video. You can get this in full screen and better resolution. Not, not, no difference at all, Maria except Moodle 2.5.2 has problems. <laughs> it's got some bugs. Okay, so I have 2.1, 2.5.1, I have 2.5.2. Um, I have a few uh, Moodle websites and uh, I prefer Moodle 2.51. This Moodle, the uh, MoodleforTeachers.org is Moodle 2.5.1. But it doesn't matter, it's still Moodle uh, Point five, which is different from uh, Moodle 2.4. Okay, that's the difference. So when I say Moodle 2.5, they're all the same. Okay, but Moodle 2.4 is completely different. Okay, it's very different. All right, if you want to go back to an, the previous section, you click here. If you want to go to the next, you click here. Okay, now notice number one, the difference between these two boxes. One you can check and one you cannot check. It'll be checked for you once you complete the task. Okay, feel free to ask questions, make comments. Oh, that's not the video. Uh, Helena, I thought you added the video. Sorry. Um, okay, so if you could add the video, that would be great. But by the way, all the content, Karine, you asked why for the MOOC, there's another area. It's to um, have a general place for all the content, for the live sessions, for the PowerPoint presentations. It makes it a lot less complicated because you're learning how to Moodle. You don't want everything uh, in front of your uh, eyes. It would make it very, very confusing for people. So number one, notice there's a book. This is called a book. Thank you, Helena. That's a book. So click on here. It's clickable. Number two is the discussion form. Number three is your uh, progress report. Click on that. Number four is a discussion. Number five is a discussion. Make sure that if you want to get these checked, you have to respond to the question and you have to respond to somebody else. So you need to respond twice. And at the bottom, notice you can jump to the next section or right again is the next one. Now, you asked Karine, asked a very good question. She asked, how do I leave the course, unenroll? If you go into course administration on the left block, you will see it'll say course administration. Under course administration, it'll say Unenroll me from Moodle for Beginners, October. So click on that, Kareen, because you want to join the other course. Also, you have your profile settings. Go into that and update it. Very, very important. You want your students to always update their profiles. So model it and update yours. You'll see that mine has a lot of information. Okay, this is what you will see under my profile settings, okay, on the left. Number one, you can edit by clicking on edit. 
you can go to your blogs because you're going to keep a blog on the Moodle. You can also add an external blog. You will find out about the badges that you have and about badges for the course. And number three, you will find out what you're doing. This is your activity report, the same report that the teacher has. Okay, so the students can see whether they finished certain activities or what they have to finish, what they've done, and so on. Moodle has a wonderful tracking system. It's a wonderful course management system. Again, notice all these are reddish brown. So click on them. These are the activities that I mentioned before. There's the checklist, forums, discussion. If you go into the discussion form, you'll see a list of all the discussions. If you go to glossaries, click on it. Don't be afraid. Click on all of these to see what's there. Okay. How many of you are afraid of clicking away? Anybody afraid of clicking? Give me a thumbs up if you're not afraid. Thumbs down if you're afraid. Okay, so if you're afraid, thumbs up. If you're not afraid, thumbs down. Do it the opposite. Nah. Oh, Raymond, are you afraid? <laughs> so, Raymond, you're afraid. Don't be afraid. Thumbs down. Helena, don't be afraid. Click on everything. Click, click. Don't be afraid to click. Okay. <laughs> Guadalupe is not afraid anymore. That's right. I believe I threw my three kids. I think I told the story. You must have heard it. I threw three of my children into the swimming pool. They're all great swimmers. They all have uh, <laughs> their life. Say they're all lifesavers. Okay, so lifeguards. They have their uh, because it's really important for us to be able to swim in life. Okay, that's right, Elizabeth. Okay, so don't be afraid to click. Click, click, click. You can't damage anything. And that's it. All right, so let me take you now to, after we talked about clicking, I'm going to screen share um, and take you to the website. But before I do, just let me know if there are any questions in the chat box. Notice when I screen share, everything stops okay i screen share so everything stopped okay it'll, i'll all right so now i'm gonna go okay i'm gonna leave this space and notice where i am now i hope you can see it okay i'm on the here we are. I'm on the WizIQ platform. There's the link. And I want to show you why this is important. This will stay open forever. Here is the live class. You can start discussions, ask questions. Okay. Are, I'm going to add it here. Are there any questions? any questions or you know what please ask questions ask your questions here okay and this is about this particular session okay so let's call it session on review of week one okay so ask questions I'll post. Now you can also start discussions, okay? In addition, if you go to the courseware on the left, you will see everything is here. It's organized, okay? It's organized according to tutorials and classes. And you'll be getting other information here. So this is really, really important. Okay, here is uh, yesterday's session. If you missed it, here's the PowerPoint presentation. Here is Okay, Cheryl's presentation, not yesterday, sorry. This is uh, Reaching Peak, Ludmilla. This is uh, May May Fox. Okay, here is the video that I add. This is about me. This is the PowerPoint presentation. 
this is the live class. You click here for the recording. This is tomorrow's class. It's all ready in here and so on. So the information is there. You can look at the PowerPoint presentations uh, beforehand. Okay, so um, let me go back now to um, over here. Here is the syllabus. You might want to look at the syllabus and the videos that I create. Okay, this is the syllabus. Very, very important. Okay, review the syllabus. And on the syllabus, you've got all the uh, live classes. They're here. Okay, all the live classes are here. Altogether, there are 18. You're supposed to um, report and write about, I believe, 10. Okay, 10 of them here are the presenters. You can learn about the presenters by clicking on them. Okay, let me go into the uh, Moodle. Okay, into the uh, Moodle website. Okay, this is the Moodle website. This is what I was talking about. Okay, right now I'm log not logged in, so I can't add anything. So I'm going to log in on the right. I can also log in at the top and notice what happens. Don't worry about it. It may take some time, depending on your system. Okay, notice all the information is here that I talked about. Here are all the reddish-brown clickable areas. Here are some videos you might want to look at. Okay, notice the left, center, and right. That's a typical Moodle. It doesn't have to look like this, but that's how Moodle is uh, typically um, installed. And uh, the themes look like this. They're different kinds of themes. This is the beginner's course that we looked at. There is the link to the course. If you look at your browser, you'll be able to get the link to the course. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm not in as a teacher, but as a teacher, I will have to click editing on. Okay, so this is what I told you. If you click on it, it'll open up. You need to click for this section to open up. Notice it's hidden until you click, and then everything is open. What I want to do now, I want to take you to the practice area because that's what you're going to do. You're going to practice as a teacher. In the two courses, Moodle for non-beginners and Moodle for beginners, you're, just, you're in as a student and you can't do very much as a student. But if you go into Moodle practice area and click on that, and everybody will do it, and don't be afraid. Okay, I see Karina's here already. Notice there are two videos here that you might want to look at. There's a... Uh, Okay, uh, plug in activity on WizIQ, and there are topics. Okay, so I'm going to go lots of topics, and you're going to take one of these topics. Let me go in as you, Kareen, for a minute. I'm going to go in as Kareen. Okay, notice Kareen is in as a teacher. Okay, it says virtual teacher because I decided to call it that. So I'm going to go log in as Kareen because I'm the administrator. Managers and administrators can go in as uh, students to see what's going on. So now I know what Karina is seeing. So what you do is at the top right, you click Turn Editing On. That's the first thing you do. Okay, so I'm in as Karina. I'm going to turn editing on. And then I'm going to grab a section. Okay, so you notice that uh, someone has taken this section. I'm going to take this one. Oh, no, this one's taken. I'll take this one. Okay, Kareen, how do I take it? I click on it. Okay, and notice what happens. Okay, here's the jump to the other section. That's not what I want to do. So let's go back to the topic. Okay, let's go to topic three, four. Okay, I want topic four, right? And what I do is... Under topic, I guess it's five, not four. Four is taken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into add an activity. Okay, I'll click on that. I can delete that. And then I'm going to add a label. Okay, notice the label. Add a label because I want to add my name. Add a label. And then I'm going to, okay, Karine, you can delete this after. I'm going to see it says hide tools. I'm going to click on show tools. 
go to this thing here, toggle, so I can have a bigger thing. I'm going to write Kareen. Okay, Kareen. I'm going to click back on this. Okay, and then I'm going to save it and see what happens. You can make it larger, of course, and I'm not going to play around. See, there's Kareen's name. So topic four is taken now by Kareen. And you go on to the next one. So grab one of these topics, go into label through add an activity. But before you do anything, make sure that it says turn editing off because that means it's on. If I turn it off, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Okay, so this is, see, I can't do anything here. So let's go back. Notice I'm going back here, topic five, MPA, which is Moodle practice area. I'm going to go to Moodle MOOC. This is where the courses are. And I'm going to go into my course, this one or this one. Okay, so that's one way. I can also go to the left here to courses where I will get a list of courses, okay, Moodle Mood, conferences, okay, or I can go home. Notice what happens when I go home. When I go home, I get the front page. Again, don't forget to click on these. They're all clickable, the blog. Just click on everything. Do not be afraid. So let me log out as Kareen. Okay, now this is what I see before I log in. Okay, we see a few people here, online users in the last five minutes. You can extend this, and this is Moodle. Okay, so let me go back to the course right now, to the live class. Here I am. Stop screen sharing. And now we've got a few minutes for questions. All right, so maybe right now, because uh, I screen shared, maybe all everything is at the bottom left. You need to click on it and pop it up okay so that you can see the chat it might be at the bottom left side of the page uh, maria says oh and what did i did in mooc one now don't pay attention what do you mean <laughs> okay you can write in your blog everything i will be checking your blogs if you've got um, reflections and thoughts I don't know if I should pick that. Pick what? Or not? What are you thinking about? Well, in the practice area, you practice. And don't be afraid. You cannot do anything wrong. But just make sure that you stay in your section. Don't go into somebody else's topic section. Perry says, Moodle is significantly updated for, oh yes, it sure is, Perry. If you're familiar, I've been Moodling since 2003, and let me tell you something, 1.9 was completely different, 2.0 was different, 2.4 was different, and 2.5 is going to stay for a while, according to Mark Martin Dogiamis, uh, the founder of uh, Moodle. I don't know what the question is, Maria. I must have missed it. You must have put it somewhere in the chat. Ah, yes, maybe. Okay, you can always, you go at your own pace. Okay, you don't have to follow. You go at your own pace. And then if you feel like you finished, you can unenroll and go into the other one. Or you can, because it's better if you're not in two at the same time. Okay, it's going to be confusing. And you can get a certificate. There are certificates. I didn't show you, but there are certificates, beautiful certificates. Would you like to see them? Lovely certificates for those who, there are a few certificates. There's the certificates for the MOOC and there's a certificate for the course. So let me take you, oops, let me take you to one certificate. Let me just extend the class. So I don't get timed out. We don't want to be timed out. It's not pleasant. So I'll just, uh, okay, so let me go into uh, the course here. Uh, let's go to the beginners, okay? Just to show you one certificate. Every course, oh, 
I see I'm logged. Every course has a certificate. Each one of my Moodle courses, wherever you take Moodle. So if you scroll down, well, you won't be able to get it now, okay? Because you have to do certain things. But let me just show you um, what it looks like. I think it's here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. You have to do everything in order to get it. Okay, see, it's grayed out for you. But I can go into it because I'm the uh, admin of this Moodle. So I'm going to go in just to show you what it looks like. Okay. That's how you'll do it. Once you get everything done, you just click on it. And then, see, I've been testing it, so I've had a few certificates. I go, that's the one. Okay, that's what you'll get. Certificate participation. This is for me, but your name will appear. And the date will change, of course. It won't be September. It'll be when you get it in October. But I've already done this, so, okay. So that's the certificate that you'll be getting. All right, so let's uh, go back. Stop sharing. All right. Questions. Too much information is overwhelming. Yes, it is. But that's, your brain can do it. That's what the transformational part is all about. The transpersonal part is about you as a person and how you can do more than you realize. And I think that um, May May mentioned it yesterday. You are capable of a lot more. It's just the voice inside of us that tells us that, oh, no, no, this is too much. Oh, no, no. But don't tell yourself anything. Relax and let the learning begin. Don't fight it. Just let it come. And it will. Don't worry about the information. You have to use it, not hoard it. Okay, you'll use the information and relax. You know, you don't have a test at the end because it's not about information. It's about using it. So that's where the practice area comes. You can practice. Ichi, I gave you, I gave you a certificate. I shared it with you. You keep saying that. I share it. I sent it to you. You want me to send it again? I'll send it again. Uh, but you can get it. It's there under the course. All you have to do is go and get it. It's available. Okay? So if you're having problems of any kind, okay, uh, just contact me. And if you don't get it, keep asking. You'll get it. Okay? You just have to know where it is. But it's there. You'll get it for the first one, for the Moodle MOOC 1. It's available. Yes, it's there. It's under course management, under the course that you took. Okay? So, uh, completion. Participation is, oh, you wanted to say completion. All right. I'll ask, I'll change it to completion. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. For us, participation means completion. It means that you uh, completed everything. All right. Okay. Any other requests or questions, feel free to use all the support forms. Just click away and ask your question. We have to participate in the whole month in order to receive. Yes. And you have to do some work. Yes. Okay. So uh, thank you for joining. And remember, it's about active learning. It's about watching, listening, reflecting, and transpersonal. That means all of you as a whole person not just the information that's there. So thank you very much. And uh, tomorrow it's with Benjamin. So join in for the live session. Bye for now. Thank you, everyone. This is recorded and it will appear in the courseware on WizIQ. So look out for this um, YouTube video. Bye for now.